Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range now and today we have an A-Rex Arms Delta II. They released this in January of 2022. I have the first gen model, Rex Delta. They now call it A-Rex, which is the name of the manufacturer out of Slovenia. But they made this one optic ready. They made it modular. It has a X-frame on there with a longer grip. When I bought it, it had an M-frame with a shorter grip that was black. This one's an OD green. But they, they created a real nice handgun. I love the first generation, but the second generation just offers more. You see it has a pick rail on there, forward serrations, and a decent trigger. Breaks right around six pounds. Has a trigger bar safety in there. 400 bucks on average you can pick this up for. So it's right around that budget, kind of friendly price. Not as high as a Glock, but not bad either. It has a 19 round mag, by the way, and 17 round mags. I've been shooting some of this ammo that has been rather inconsistent. But let's go ahead and take a few shots here. All right. There it is. Now this is a 19 round mag. You can get that with, or it will fit with the longer grip X frame. They also make an L frame that's also nice. And then here is the 17 round mag, 400 bucks. Now the red dot I have here is a Riton MPRD. Nice red dot. Overall, a decent package. I, I'm certainly happy with it. I, only taking it out once which is now but you just take these takedown levers pull the trigger and off comes the slide from the frame and then you just put it back on A-Rex was one of the first ones to come up with that type of system and I, I think it's cool a lot of other manufacturers modeled that after a while but check it out pretty nice I like the OD green let me load it up and We'll take a few more shots. This is not the original grip. These are Talon grips, but it does have a different grip texturing than the original Delta. Also comes with back straps, nice squared off trigger guard. I mentioned a decent trigger. It's it's not the best, but it's not, it's not the worst either. Now here is the 17 round mag, fits flush with the X frame. And we'll take a few more shots because I'm still learning this gun. Oh, by the way, you may want to know what type of ammo was giving me some issues. I had quite a few light primer strikes with Freedom Munitions. That's it. It slipped my mind. Freedom Munitions. I picked up some of that and I, I've been getting some light primer strikes, not just with this handgun, but with some others. Let's start on the left here. All right, here we have the 19 round mag. It has a plus two base plate right there. I'm told these are made by Mechgar. Huge fan of Mechgar mags. Everything from SIGs to 1911s and CZs, whatever else they make. It doesn't have the stamping on there, but it seems to have the same type of feel and quality that Mechgar makes. But I like the option of 19 rounds. I now have the Freedom Munitions Ammo. Let's see if I have a light primer strikes. We'll start on the left. Yeah, I'm kind of all over the place. Here we have tool steel case. Let's see how this works with the tool. Oh, I just dropped that target. All right, no problem with steel case. Let's see if the A-Rex Delta II will charge with a loaded bag. Not that time, let's try it again. I'll slam a little harder. And that time it did. How about a Lipris test?
Failure to eject. Get that out of there as well as a round. I believe I have three left. Let's see how it does. <laughs> and a failure to chamber. Let's see if I can. All right, that was with Winchester White Box. Couple failures. So there it is, A-Rex Delta II X-Frame, Riton MPRD Red Dot. Nice overall package. I like it, I like A-Rex arms. They've been proven to produce some Mighty fine handguns, but this is the Delta II. Picked it up locally and I'm pretty pleased. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.